last new line that we created was Crazy Train, and that was, um, uh, give me one second. That was a long, long time ago. However long it's been, it's time for something new. We need steep, big dirt jumps here at the trails. With the dirt I've been using, the trails are just calling out for a dirt jump line that flows effortlessly. In today's video, we're going to plan and build a part of the first jump. It's important to note that this build started in summer and had a long project hold. When we had the hose, digging was much slower but still manageable during the summer months. We're going to branch this first jump from Crazy Train, which will be a left hip located on the hillside. Alright, so we know we want to start out the line with a hip jump right there. I think that'd be a super good spot because it turns a little bit between the trees. I think having a hip jump there would be a really good idea. Now the only problem is, starting is going to be a little bit of a mess. I think it would actually make more sense to build the hip and then build the run in based on how much speed we think we're going to need. If this is confusing, let's head up above for an aerial view. As you can see, Crazy Train will wrap around and eventually run parallel to this line. Outlined in blue is the path of the hip jump we have planned. Let's get started with clearing a path for the new jump. We could start all the way up here next to this Crazy Train berm, and we could just go straight up that lip and then into a hip that goes that way. Clearing this section will not be easy. It's loaded with heavy branches from trees, tall weeds and plants, and a thick layer of topsoil. During the summer, the hose was incredibly helpful in letting water sink into the top layer of dirt to allow for building. Such a nightmare to clear out. There's so many sticks, so many branches. It's taking forever. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of idea of where I'm picturing it. The landing is going to be somewhere there and it's going to come down towards me. Then we're going to have a corner and we're going to keep going down that way parallel to Crazy Train. So I think what we'll end up doing is probably pulling the hips landing farther back so that we have more time to set up into a turn there. It'll be a weird one to build because it's kind of on the opposite slope that we want it to, but I think that'll turn out pretty well. Making sure the first jump in a dirt jump line is in the right spot is key to keeping a good line that flows well. It's extremely difficult in this case because the jump placement isn't exactly natural. We're building into a hillside with a tight run up and run out, so excessive planning is required here. With that, we can start sticking some shovels in the dirt. At the very beginning, we needed to make sure all of the angles and directions looked right, then we could continue stacking the landing. It takes a long time constantly having to water the dust, but once the rain hits, this project will start to speed up. The video is going to be 2 minutes of building and 15 minutes of dog. <laughs> what are you doing? She's in the pit, we can't even work. <laughs> 
That's just gotta go a little bit more to the side and we just gotta go up. Once I dug into the clay layer, digging became much easier and it was just a matter of time. The clay was even able to stick to the landing when wet, which really helped my momentum. I had now reached a point where it was very hard to go any taller without going wider or farther back. So I think the next step is to pull this edge back a little bit so that we can stack it taller. From there, we'll be able to dig out all of that section to make that nice corner, and that'll give us a good amount of dirt for this landing here. <laughs> Now that we had the top pushed out, we had to push the left side out so that we have a landing that's not sketchy at all. I know all of you guys are probably expecting a rapid moment of progression, but the truth is, with a big jump like this, slow and steady wins the race. So now that we have this massive flat spot on top that's packed in, we can start going up. This landing is a constant cycle of stacking, pulling back the case guard, and stacking again. It's important to pack the top as you go though to prevent erosion and ensure a solid base foundation for the jump. Let's repeat the process and kill my arms yet again. Alright, so we got riding mode, very nice, and here we have building mode. Little did I know that this moment right here would be the last time I stuck a shovel on the dirt for over two months. Many months later. So it has been a very long time since I've been out here. I've had the tarp on that step up lip for a good month and a half now. As you can tell, it looks very different here. But we're going to start ramping up the frequency of these videos again. We're going to start doing some digging here. I sprained my knee. I've had a lot of personal stuff going on, but I'm super stoked to be able to get back into it. And we're going to start on this landing here, throwing a little bit more dirt. Over this long break, I somehow ended up with another camera, and I'm super excited to test it. So I want to show you one shot from each of the different cameras because it's the Hero 9, the Max, my phone that's filming right now, and then the new Hero 11. So I'll show you one of each, let me know what you think and how they're different. The final step of the landing is to make a ledge so we can go a little bit wider.
Well, just like that, we have a big landing. There's no way to ride this incomplete jump today, but I hope you enjoyed the start of this new series. In the next episode, we'll start on the lip and make some surprising modifications to the landing. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.